All right, hello everyone. Today I wanted to talk to you about some things that we are seeing happening in our marketplace. And we are not here to talk about Halloween specials, uh, but we are here to talk about a very important topic today. Because what we are seeing is something that has been coined ghost vacancies. These are rental units that are filled by people who are not paying rent. And we're seeing these happen in a number of different ways. Um, the most common way we are seeing happen these days is in a very positive way. So it's not a negative, it's not eviction, but it's very much dealing with filling your units quicker. And so what we're seeing happen in the marketplace is tenants being incentivized to move into units. We are seeing this happen in a couple different ways. And I wanted to bring it to your attention because it's very changing what our marketplace is. We're obviously in the very near past, you know, we had record low vacancies. And obviously we're starting to see a big changeover with, you know, the loss of short-term rentals, with pandemic, uh, you know, people not willing to move as much and having concerns about what these things look like and happen. So with all these things going on out in the marketplace, we're really seeing about three different approaches come out right now. We're seeing one where there are some nice places that are offering tenants gift cards to move into a property. And I've seen these, you know, for some really fancy places downtown, they'll offer you like a thousand dollars at a dress store to move into a place, to get a tenant to, to sign that lease and to get rid of that vacancy. Some other options we're seeing is more of a, a discounted or a free rental period, uh, anywhere between a half and a full month's rent, just to get that place filled. And sort of on the flip side that we're starting to see come out a little bit more behind the scenes is some incentivizing for leasing agents to get their clients to move into some of these properties. And so obviously we normally hear that talked as a commission, and so I have seen some of these places come out uh, where they offering a, a half or higher percent point on some of these things, an additional month's rent, really just because people are looking to fill their vacancies in any way possible. I know our office has had conversations with a lot of owners about some of these options. And of course, the reason that we have these kind of conversations and we bring these updates to you is because vacancies cost everybody money. And you might think, you know, I don't want to rent my property for less because I'll lose out in the longer one. And you're not necessarily wrong in some of those things, but having a vacant property has a cost associated to it as well. And you know, some of the most obvious ones that people start to see when you kind of look back after you've had a vacancy for a while, tend to be you know, the added inspections for insurance companies, because they want to make sure when your property's empty, nothing's going wrong. The cost of carrying the utility bills that you wouldn't normally have when a tenant is occupying a unit. So if you think your hydro, your gas, your water, uh, any rental equipment you might have that you're no longer recovering expenses against. And of course, added maintenance. On a lot of these places, uh, especially in the detached sort of neighborhood, you need to worry about lawn and snow care uh, throughout the year to make sure that nothing goes wrong in these places and they're still appealing when tenants show up. So I wanted to bring these out to you, talk to you about what we're seeing in the marketplace. And if you wanna explore some of these options for your properties, I'd encourage you to reply back here and reach out to us. You know, uh, we do a lot of these things. We work with a lot of owners to always come up with a win-win solution. And I want to encourage you to win with us. Thank you.